Hey, look, there he is. Hey, everybody, good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. You caught me with a bite of toast in my mouth. How y'all doing this morning? Getting started a few minutes late, but hey, proceed imperfectly, right? Um, What do you think? Back in the digs today. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you're not watching the live stream. You should. Go over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, catch us on the live stream there. Uh, then you can participate in the conversation as well as listen to what's going on. Hey, uh, hey, and do me a favor. When you get there, do what Joe and Abby just did. Leave a comment. Give me a wave. Say hi. Let me know that you are out there and that you're watching, listening, uh, and otherwise participating in the community. So grab your cup of coffee. We're going to talk about customers this morning. Mm. Man, that's good. All right. <clears throat> so one of the things that I hear very frequently from, and first of all, let me set this up. Whether you own a business, run a business, or work for a business, today's topic will apply to you. So don't tune out if you're not the uh, the business owner. All right. Very frequently I hear, I need more customers. Okay. Very first question I ask is, why do you need more customers? Most people <clears throat> jump forward to the solution. And, and this is my experience in working with people in my coaching practice. They have already jumped forward to the solution, just need help getting the solution done. But we, my job is to pick at that and to get at the underlying reason why they believe they need more customers in this case. Mm. Man, that coffee's good this morning. All right. So when I hear that, <clears throat> I almost always can interpret that to mean <clears throat> I need more money. Here's why. Because that's the first answer. <laughs> when people say they need more customers, I say, why? They say, well, because we, you know, we need to increase revenue. We need to make more money. Right? Why do you need to do that? So anyway, we start talking about ways to find more customers. And then I ask the next question. Well, tell me about your ideal customer. Well, I don't know. Who's that? <clears throat> so they're, they're trying to make up for. When, when you're looking at it that way, you're trying to make up for in volume what you cannot achieve in quality. You're trying to make up in quantity what you cannot achieve in quality. Would you rather have, let's say you've got 20 customers right now, whatever your business is or whatever your work is, you have 20 people that you deliver value to. Do you really want 100 people? Think of the overhead associated with delivering value to a hundred people. But if you could, what if I told you that you could get higher quality customers and you could get by with only 10 or 15, so fewer customers, increase your revenue, increase the amount of time you get to spend with each one of them, increase their satisfaction with what you're doing for them. Isn't that a win for everybody, except maybe the 80 people that now don't get to work with you? The problem that most people have, the challenge that, that they enter into this with, is they don't think about trying to connect with their ideal customer. I've got right here, a little sticky right here, right here next to my, on my monitor. The goal is to do business with people who believe what you believe. If you do that, then you don't have to go out and convert 80 extra people. If you've got the right 20 people, you have plenty. Now, there are times where you need, where you've got the right 20 and you need to scale. Maybe you need to increase revenue. There are other things that we can address then, but the first thing to do is to get the best 20 or the best 10, whatever the case may be for you on your books then we can actually make a difference because if we've got the best 10 or the best 20, then adding one more adds exponential value, not just incremental value or revenue adds exponential revenue, not just incremental revenue. Makes sense. 
I hope so. I want you to think about it. So here's your takeaway for today, your homework to go home with. Think about your ideal customer. If you already have customers, I want you to think about that one customer where if you could have 19 more just like this one, that's who I would want them to be like. And then start writing a description of that person. If you don't have customers yet, you have to do a little bit of guesswork here, but that's okay. We can work with that. Write out who you think your ideal customer is. Remember there, I mean, there are three elements here and we'll talk about these tomorrow, but demographic, psychographic, and behavioral. Those are the three things you want to know about your customers. We'll peel that back some more tomorrow. For now, you start writing what you think about them. What time do they come to your, your door, whatever, you know, whatever your door is, virtual or real. Um, what time do they come? What do they need? How long does it take you? Just everything you can about that ideal customer. We'll start divvying that up into those three key areas tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, big show uh, announcement for tomorrow. Uh, we're doing the uh, radio show live tomorrow, remote from Coffee and Connections, I believe it's called, Joe. Uh, that'll be running uh, in the morning, Tuesday morning from 7, I think it's 7.30 to 8.30, 7.30 to 9.00. At Huntsville West, that is a uh, an offering of the Tennessee Valley Business Network. We'll be doing the radio show live from there. Come by, say hi, wave at me, make faces, try to make me laugh through the glass. That's uh, that's your challenge for tomorrow. All right, but for today, begin describing that ideal customer. We'll break it down into those three key parts tomorrow. Until then, you have a magnificent Monday. I'll see you back here again tomorrow at 7 We're more seven minutes in the morning. Till then, you guys take care.